Hi everyone, this is Edmund with a quick tutorial on how to install and configure WP Touch plugin to make your WordPress site mobile responsive. Note that this is only applicable to websites which are using non-mobile responsive WordPress themes. If you have any questions, you can contact me at edmundimlicious.com. And for the complete list of steps on how to optimize your WordPress website, please visit imlicious.com slash wordpress dash optimization slash or click the link in the video description below. In order to test whether the WordPress theme that you're using for your WordPress website is mobile responsive or not, you can make use of these two called Page Speed Insights by Google developers. Just visit this URL developers.google.com slash speed slash page speed slash insights slash. Once you enter this URL into the address box, you'll be brought to this page. So here you got to type in the URL of your website. So in this case, I'm going to use the type health example, type health.com, click on analyze. This is how my website looks like on a mobile device. So you see that my WordPress team is mobile responsive since everything appears properly. And the speed is 79, which is pretty fast. You want to have more than 70 for the loading speed. And for the user experience is more than 90. In this case, 99 out of 100, which is really very good. Okay, that shows that my WordPress team is mobile responsive. Now I'm gonna show you an example of a WordPress team that's not mobile responsive. So I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard, go to appearance, click on teams, and I'm going to activate this team that is non-mobile responsive. So once I activate it, I'm going to refresh my website again and copy the entire URL again. Go back to Page Speed Insights, copy and paste it again and click on Analyze. You'll see that now my WordPress theme is not mobile responsive because we're showing the entire website there instead of the focus of the content. And if you scroll down, the user experience is only 72 out of 100. It says that this page may not pass Google's mobile friendly test. That means that your WordPress team is not mobile responsive. In this case, you have to install a plugin called WP Touch to make your website mobile responsive. In order to do that, you have to log in back to your WordPress dashboard and then go to plugins, click on add new. Here you can type in WP Touch, hit enter on your keyboard and you'll be brought to this plugin, WP Touch mobile plugin. So this is the one, you can click on install now, click on OK. Click on activate plugin. So if you scroll down, you'll see WP Touch here. So now you have to click on the core settings. The WP Touch site title, you can change this if you want to. I'll just leave it as my main site title. I'll leave the WP Touch landing page as default, same as WordPress, and the team display, I'll put it as normal. So all these, I'll just leave it as it is. So if you go to compatibility, there are some short codes that you can use and the user agents as well, along with all these WordPress plugins. All these are enabled unless you have the pro account and then you can disable some of this. So in this case, I'm just using the free version, which I believe is already good enough. So you can click on preview team to see how it looks like. So this is how my team looks like on the preview. So you have to click on these notifications. They say that extra configuration is required for W3 total cache. The plugin must be configured to exclude the user agents that WP Touch Pro uses. So just click on this link here. So you have to reconfigure your W3 total cache in order to start using the WP Touch plugin and just click on this W3 total cache. Here they actually provide you steps on how to configure your W3 total cache in order to use the WP Touch plugin properly. So first of all, you have to go to the page cache settings under the performance tab. So if you scroll down, look for performance, go to page cache. Here they tell you to copy this list of user agent for configuring cache plugins. You can right click here, open in a new tab, custom user agents. So you just scroll all the way down. So under the rejected user agents, you have to copy and paste all the list of user agents, which is provided here. Just select this entire list of user agents, right click, copy. Under the page cache, you scroll all the way down to rejected user agents, right click and paste all these devices into here. And scroll all the way down and click on save all settings. And the next step is go to Minify Settings. Scroll all the way down, go to Minify. And scroll all the way down to Rejected User Agents. Right click and paste the list of mobile agents here. Save our settings again, click on it. Next, you have to scroll all the way down to CDN Settings. Look for CDN, click on it. Scroll all the way down, look for Rejected User Agents. Click the field here, right click and paste all these devices here again. Click on Save All Settings. Finally, you have to go back to your W3 Total Cache Dashboard. Click on Dashboard, click on 
empty all cache after you're done you can go back to page speed insights again click on analyzed this time around you'll see that the speed is 79 out of 100 which is very good and if you scroll down the user experience is 100 out of 100 for the wordpress team that you're using so that's it guys that's basically how you make your website mobile responsive if you are using a non-mobile responsive wordpress team if you have any questions feel free to email me at admin and i'll be glad to help you out thank you for listening and goodbye see ya